Hey, this is Dan, and I got a good paper gun, toss and all. Hope you enjoy. So, this is the M200 magazine. And turn off the clip. The bullet end doesn't fire, but it's still pretty cool. Pretty crappy. This is a Spaz 12 shotgun. Not bad. Used to fire. This is the M4 carbon. I ran out of regular tape for it. So I just had to use a bunch of like, bad tape, whatever you call it. This is my MP5 with a magazine. with this little thingy and you change it to full, auto, semi, and just say safety off. This is a striker grenade launcher. It's like the same way I make a revolver with this huge thing right here. Not bad. This is like one of the Russian shotguns, I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty cool. I like this. And a bullet. Um, I got this 9 mm pistol and this Desert Eagle. much better because you can actually spin the thing on the inside. This one just says the really crappy thing. This is a really good one. It's a RPD. Didn't really have anything to work. This is a, like a small grenade launcher. Uzi, mini Uzi, magazine. And silencer, like all Uzi's. This is a real firing magnum. You can twist this, but I don't know where the bullets are right now. This is uh, not bad, but too much tape, probably. Thompson. This is a Russian prototype submachine gun. I don't know what it's called. A friend does. It's like a weird design. Kind of like a tar. Magazine. Uh, some of my last few, like the AK-74, one of my favorite magazines. Second sniper. It's a dragon off. It's best to nice use it. Magazine. This is my favorite. It's AK-47 AK with a banana clip. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's really awesome. Okay, this one is a um, 6C machine gun. This thing kind of falls out sometimes. 
later. Amazing. Last but not least is the MP40. This thing. My magazine is lost, as you can see, there's a space for it. Well, that's it.